Hey guys, Jackson here. Uh, today I want to show you a new spawn drawing that I've been working over over the, the last couple of days. Um, so I've finished it now. This is just the, the time lapse video of it. So I'll let that play and um, after the time lapse is done we'll come back and I'll uh, show you the progress I've made in the last uh, five years because I did one, uh, an old spawn drawing in about 2015. Um, so we, we can compare the two and I can go over some of the um, tips and tricks you can use to get your uh, pictures looking a little bit more professional and things like that. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse and I'll be back in a minute. They can't keep up with me, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. They can't keep up with me, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Sick with the grip, don't slip, I'm steady. Bars and flows, I got so many. LMG with a hit so heavy. Chosen one, but I ain't no heady. Sick with the grip, don't slip, I'm steady. Bars and flows, I got so many. LMG with a hit so heavy. Chosen one, but I ain't no heady. They said my delivery needed some work. Better run straight to the lab. Got in my bags, don't let the pack. They get an express, the flow was impressive. Guaranteed, they get in the fast, they're running it back. I never slack. Too much crack at the head, I'm spinning. They trip it too quick and I spit it, they miss it. I figured this shit will go over the caps. I murder every retreat. Track. Hear it, then replay your back. Your boy just too good with the raps. Wow, trying to blow up, trying to land. I got big hits, I'ma need some air time. With no crash man for me to land on. Evil Knievel, I'm out of my damn mind. All of these fools, I think I'm the bag. I wait for the sequel. Double the evil, lyrics are lethal. You with the see through. Someone is coming, I get on my gun and I spray like I sneeze through. Bless you. Rap gods coming back for the rescue. Hats off for the man when he stepped through. Back all of you thinking I'm finished. Bitch, I'm stuck like a tattoo. I'll attack you. Gun is at you. Black aimed at you. Got you mastered you. like a statue. Stiff like bad next man. I can challenge, but you in the casket. Slipping the dick, cause you was just tragic. Where is the mic? Homie just passed it. The madness, killing the sadness. I got him hype, feeling his magic. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, whenever I talk, nobody listens. All of these edibles, they got me tripping. The only two two now, my fingers are missing. My people's as big as a button. My vision is fucking a bug, and I see everything but a dozen. Hey, I see everything but a dozen. All of these choppers are good, but a quick though. How many really got bars within those? Not too many, they shots come quickly. But how many people do you really hit though? All of these choppers are good, but a quick though. How many really got bars within those? Not too many, they shots come quickly. But how many people do you really hit though? Studio really really is my spaceship. We smoke it up till we're so high. My talent, you can't tame it. Cause homie, you I'm one of a kind, and so are you, so take it and let it shine, success is a state of mind, just give it a hundred percent and shit would just fall into line, trust in your own little mind, don't worry how small it is cause dreams are infinity size, just take it and make it something you love, making my dreams a reality is a must, I never stop, no wonder I don't go to sleep, and if I do, shit don't stop on my dreams, when I wake up, I manifest what I've seen, give it some time and there will be nobody fucking with me, hey, Give it some time and there will be nobody fucking with me. Hey. There's a new generation of rappers who are running the scene. We high as fuck, but we ain't connected to lean. So high up, cause everyone wanna be king. Hey, 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 hey. So high up, cause everyone wanna be king. Hey. Yeah, checkmate in the same game for the opposition. I try to tell them they don't like to listen, but I finally converted them. Now they're top some a fuck competition. I hopped in this shit, all optimistic with a misfit. Mindset pointing me to the right direction with the right intentions. I write dimensions, try 2Ds or 40s, motherfuckers who like attention. Love a tag and I like a mention. New web is futuristic, just like the Jensen's. New web is futuristic, just like the Jensen's. New web is futuristic, just like the Jensen's. Hey. So uh, that's the uh, finished piece there on the right, uh, Spawn, and um, obviously the one that I did in 2015 over here to the left. Uh, so you see there's quite a, quite a drastic difference uh, between the two, um, but things like um, you know, a better knowledge of lighting, um, uh, rendering obviously, uh, the anatomy and things like that. Um, so to we'll go over a couple of things um, that I can point out what I did back in the day. So I went with the you know, all these heavy black shadows because I was um, trying to emulate, you know, all my favourite comic artists. So I just started doing these black shadows everywhere um, and obviously the black outline, similar to, you know, pretty much every comic these days. Um, the anatomy is quite stiff. I didn't use a real good reference for, for the body, I don't, if, if any at all. I think I might have just made it up and, you know, especially these muscles here, they're all sort of like just little bits of corn and stuff just all smooshed together. Um, and yeah, so the one thing I noticed is this this chain that goes all the way here. It's kind of cool, but like it's almost the same width um, for every chain, except this sort of one big one here. It goes oddly big here. <laughs> so we've got that. That's an issue. Whereas on the on the newer one, I, I kept this one sort of a small chain. You know, you've got this big giant one coming over here with a bit of motion blur on it to create some movement in the image. You got some in the back, and then some smaller ones here. And one down the one down here to sort of curve the composition, so it's like a circle. Um, 
so yeah, just just small things you learn over the years. Um, you know what I mean? If you've got something that's repeating, you can do it at different shapes and sizes to make it a little bit more visually exciting. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, the the lighting. So on my new one, I've got this really cool green glow through his hand, and that obviously hits a bit of his cape, his face, his chest, and the cape down here. Um, obviously helps light some other little sections as well. And then you've got the the background light from up here, which is going to hit the back of his head, which is gives gives him that really high glow at the top and on on the edge of his cape. So that's two different light sources, um, which can look really effective. With the old one, I don't really know if there is a light source anyway. It's kind of just I've just kind of got shadows and just light where I think it would go. I guess um, it's very flat looking. So like the new one, you've got his cape and his legs and all under here it's all very dark and hidden away so you know your eye your eye can take time to move through the drawing it can go from the eye to the hand to the chest to the details you know down here and on his belt and things like that whereas this one it's kind of just it's kind of just all over the place you just don't even know what's going on it's just I don't know like as a, as a beginner in digital painting like this was one of my first digital paintings so I, I feel like I did pretty well for a beginner um, on my first tablet um but yeah, it's just good to see that I have improved in, in the last five years. Uh, well, another thing is the rim light. So on this one, the old spawn, you've got this orange rim light throughout the whole image. So it's just, it's like on everything. It makes no sense. It's like there's another little, there's like must be a hundred little lights around him, only lighting edges. So I must have watched a YouTube video on rim light or something. I just thought I'd just spam it in everywhere. Where in uh, reality or, you know, in entertainment lighting, you just want it on certain spots of focus, usually. So it's not an exact rule, but that's how I like to do it. So I'd use the head up here on the cape, so you get some focus on his head area. Um, a little bit on the back of the cape here, up here. A um, little bit on the hand here to silhouette his hand off the off the back of the cape there. And, you know, just on the edge of his body to help, help cut out that chest. Um, so, yeah, you don't need to use too much rim light, but I've, I found if you use it and then put some colour dodge on it and things like that, it can make it really glow and pop. Uh, so that's a really cool thing you can do. Um, another effect that we um, that I do now, so if I zoom in, huh, you can see this. You can see this blue light that comes off here. So I'll actually make a tutorial on how to do that. Um, and it's it's basically you go into into your channels, your RGB channels, and you can choose red, blue, or green, and you can sort of tilt it and scale it, and it um it'll sort of ping off to the side. So it's actually what happens in uh, photography sometimes. Um, you can get these little bleeding edges and stuff like that. I just like to add it at the end. It's, it's very subtle, but it, it can look really cool. I also um, noticed that the background on my old one is just all these sort of random little clouds, not painted very well at all. Um, and then on my latest one, I've actually used a photo of the inside of a cathedral, which I thought would be pretty, pretty cool. And then just put some, uh, you know, all these little dust particles everywhere, which would come out in this big beam of like this big god ray coming down. Um, so yeah, is it, I usually like to focus all my time on the character and then usually use a photo for the background, just, you know, blur it or do a bit of a paint over it and things like that. Just saves me a little bit of time. Um, and you've got the fog coming up behind, which helps silhouette spawn as well. And a little bit of fog in the foreground here. Um, so that's some other little effects you can add in that look really cool. Um, and notice the with the anatomy, the um, this is sort of heavily, not heavily, but like a bit more perspective based. So you've got the big, the big forearm. You're sort of looking down onto his head and chest. Whereas this uh, this one's just he's very just like flat, you know, cardboard cutout. So that's some things to keep in mind when you're doing new character drawings. You try to get get a cool camera angle. So the way I actually got the the new one over here was that I did that pose myself with, and I um I had the light sort of hitting my chest and arm, and then I just sort of did a sketch off that. So that's always a cool way to do it because I've never been a master of anatomy or anything like that, and I've still got a lot to learn. Um, but yeah, if you take photos of yourself in your in your weird poses and cool poses, then you can get some pretty cool outcomes when you sketch it out. But yeah, so that's pretty much uh, some of the things that I can see straight away when I look at this. Uh, but I'll make, I'll make a few new tutorials on some of the effects I've used on the spawn, like the, the fire coming over his hand and how to do the rim light and the, um, you know, the, the channel dodge and things like that. 
and even motion blur. I've had a few people ask me how I do my motion blur tricks, so I'll make a video on that soon. Um, but yeah, if you can add a, add a comment down the bottom what you'd like to see next, and definitely subscribe if you've got some value out of this video. Uh, that'll be awesome. And also, I'll put my Instagram below as well. Um, on my Instagram, I've got uh, almost 125,000 followers at the moment. So if you can jump on that as well, check out all my uh, my Instagram art. That'll be awesome. And uh, yeah, hope you guys learned something. And thanks for watching.